Hey guys. Okay, so the past couple weeks have been like chock full of changes and transitions and self-reckoning and revelations and growing pains and like you name it, it is happening in my life right now. And as a result, I find myself in a place of like very real uncertainty about what's coming next. I mean, I feel less certain about what's next for me than I have in a very long time. <laughs> And while there are very real moments of, of fear in this, I have to say that almost effortlessly, I have been settling into this like real comfort in the unknown. I have been befriending the uncertainty and I have to tell you like, it is ridiculously freeing. And I felt like I needed to talk to you guys about this because we are all so afraid of the unknown, right? <laughs> we are so afraid of change. We spend so much of our lives just like avoiding having something come in and change whatever plan we have. I mean, like even if we are white knuckling it through a, a job or a relationship or a way of being that like really isn't working or making us happy, we are still more comfortable doing that than we are jumping into change and jumping into the unknown, right? I think part of this is like, it's against all of our animal instincts to, um, to be uncertain, right? We have to know like from an evolutionary standpoint, how to like defend ourselves against what's coming out from the bushes. I mean, literally, right? So all of us have this idea that if we have this path that we're on and we know what's gonna happen in the next hour, next day, next week, next month, next year, then like everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> You know, but the thing is that for all of us who have gone through these periods of like very real transition and change and uncertainty, and I would venture to guess that's most of us, you know, going through breakups, um, transitions of jobs, moving, like um, questions about what our, our purpose is or our path is, you know, dark nights of the soul, right? All of us who've gone through that know that even though that comes with very real difficulty and growing pains, those moments end up being the moments of greatest growth that we ever experience. Those are the moments that we learn the most about ourselves, that we have to take a hard look at why we've been stopping ourselves, at why we've been self-sabotaging, or why we haven't let ourselves look outside of the little box of what we think is possible, right? And we start to see real possibilities and opportunities that didn't seem available to us before. I have to say that in this like failure of plan A that's kind of happening in my life, I'm suddenly entertaining ideas and opportunities that didn't fit in that box of plan A, but that are so genuinely exciting. And I find that in taking this like pressure off of plan A, I suddenly feel freer and lighter, you know? I mean, change is usually predicated by the removal of something in our lives, right? The removal of um, a job that we don't like or um, that we aren't executing properly. The removal of, say, a person or a relationship in our lives that isn't serving us anymore. Um, and while there's a real grieving process that goes along with the removal of those things, there is a weight lifted. I mean, when I tell you I literally feel lighter walking around, I do. It's like this stale energy just went boop and is gone now in somewhere into the ether. And I'm, I'm walking around and like breathing differently. And I mean that literally, it's incredible. And so I just, I really, encourage you guys this week and going forward to take a long, hard look at what is not working in your own life. I know it's scary, but like it's going to be and that's okay. <laughs> Most things worth doing are going to be scary, just so you know. So take that long look and decide to take the leap. Get out of that job that you don't like. Get out of that relationship that's weighing you down. Like make the move across the country or whatever you're thinking, pursue that dream. Like just, you know, I, I, I promise you that the unknown is actually like a lot lovelier 
than you'd imagine. You know, like join me in the in the great abyss. It's 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 really quite nice here. I promise. <laughs> so thank you guys and good luck. Uh, and I will see you next week. Bye.